Uh, this is on a Sunday, so I'm going to give you guys this. To probably upload it on a Friday or even early th Thursday. I'll talk about today something that happened here in Columbus called a, a teacher from a Catholic high school got fired today because she was a, a gym teacher got fired because she uh, was a homosexual at a Catholic high school. Now I'm in Columbus, Ohio. What you're looking at right now is the skyline of downtown looking, coming from the east. And uh, what happened was this te gym teacher got fired. Now she got fired because she was a teacher there and she hit on, slid under the radar. But what happened was, I guess one of her parents or her mom or dad had a funeral in an obituary. It had this teacher's name and it had um, her lover's name. Well, I guess a parent or two found out, took it to the school and uh, it was a big hoom ha. It's like I think it made national. It's making national news right now. It's making local, big time local news because uh, the Catholic Church decided to fire her, and now they're trying to maybe see what they can do if they can recoup their losses. This, that, and the third. Well, let me tell you something, folks. The Catholic Church is doing exactly what they should be doing. If it's if it's against their mantra. The, 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 the homosexual is against their mantra, which is against their religion, then yes, she should be fired. Now, the fact of the matter is, she slid on the radar. Well, it took them 23 years to figure this out. I think what happened was both parties were were cool whenever nobody knew about anything. But the minute it came out, the Catholic, the Catholic Church was put on a uh, on front street, so to say. So they had to do something about it. Unfortunately, this lady had to lose her job. Now, the Catholic Church is not a public entity. The Catholic Church is a private organization. You belong to the Catholic Church, cool. But at the end of the day, in your Bible, it says homosexuality is a sin. And the Catholic Church is not going to have a homosexual teacher teach one of their classes. It goes against what you're teaching in the Bible. Now, people want to get up here and get all morals and this, that, and the third. But it's not about morals. It's about what's right and wrong. And sometimes what's right and wrong is not fair. Just because you're doing the right thing doesn't mean it's the fair thing sometimes. Sometimes the wrong thing could be the fair thing. And right now they're doing the right and they hope, I mean, they're doing the right thing. It's not fair, but it's right and it's just. So uh, this is Columbus, Ohio, and uh, what people understand, Columbus has a very active homosexual community. And I have nothing against that, but I, what I do have is if the Catholic Church took so long to find this out. Like, she should have been, if this was the case, she should have been fired a long time ago. And I, don't do, I disagree with people losing their jobs because of any discrimin discrimination, my fault. But like I said, at the end of the day, the Catholic Church frowns on homosexuality. Everybody knows their, their stance on homosexuality. Everybody knows the Bible stance on homosexuality. This is just a fair decision, in my opinion. Now, I feel sorry for the lady, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. So... This is me. I just, I'm just out. I'm Sunday night. I'm cruising around. So here you go. I'm out. Peace.